guys. I woke up and did my treatment. Um, I did my treatment early, early so that I could get down to the barn after I have some coffee because once we get to the racetrack, I won't be seeing the horses, but I know I'll see them in March. So um, right now I just, I'm gonna drink a little bit of coffee before I head down there. Hopefully I can drink this without dribbling it out of my mouth. I tried to, I was taking some ibuprofen last night, which I'm probably gonna take some more um, when I get back from the barn, but uh, I'm just not used to doing things like this and so I tried to take a sip of the drink and like half of it came out of my mouth. So it's going to be a learning curve but um, hopefully I can I can drink this without dribbling like a baby. Um, but I also checked in for my flights and I got A55 and A58 so I'm happy. You guys know I was so stressed because I was like B31 last time which is like I didn't I was like Am I gonna get a window seat? Um, and I had to sit in like the very last row of the plane. So this time I will be in the first, not the very first group to board, but the second of the first group, if that makes sense. If you guys know Southwest boarding process, then that'll make sense. But anyway, um, I will mo more than definitely get a window seat. Most definitely, I'm not gonna say 100% because I don't jinx myself. Most definitely get a window seat on the flight from Dallas to Tampa because it's going to be on an 800. Um, they're bigger and they're my favorite planes, so that makes me happy. And uh, I should be able to get a window seat, even though it's a 700, it's a smaller plane between um, Little Rock and Dallas. So, anyway, all is good this morning, but I'm going to drink this coffee so I can get down to the barn. I want to go see Blondie, and um, I, I won't be able to spend more than like 20 minutes down there, unfortunately, but I know I'll see them in March, so... Um, so anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit, and I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'm heading down to the barn. It is freezing out here. I think it's like 30 degrees, so technically it's below freezing out here. Um, but I really wanted to see them, even though it's like really muddy and really gross. We're leaving in like an hour to go to the horse track. And so it's going to be a day full of horses. Get to go see these guys and then go to Oaklawn, but oh my gosh. I guess I just wasn't prepared for it to be this cold outside. Jeez. Anyway, I'm a little bit curious. When I've been driving up and down, I haven't seen Matt. So I hope he's still here. Um, you know, when I came in December, I found out like half of them were sold. And uh, I haven't seen Matt at all. So I don't know if he's still here, but I did see Blondie. So at least I know I can say hi to her. I see him. He's just out with the girls now. So I don't know if they got him gilded. Um, yeah, he used to be in this pasture right here. And now he's out there. So all the, all the other ones are still here. That makes me good. I was going to be sad because Matt, especially after we lost Blaze, I got quite close to Matt. And uh, Matt and Blondie, hi, Blondie, hi, girl, are my two favorites. So we said if he wasn't here, but he is. He's out, just out with the girls. So all is good. I was hoping to say hi to him first, but he's not in his little... A shed and I don't want to like wake on the door and knock anybody up because it is only 8 30 in the morning so oh he built around him that's new um so I'm gonna wait and like wait oh my gosh it's muddy until uh like maybe he I gotta leave and try knocking on the door turn this around that didn't used to be there so that's pretty cool I'm not going to film too much down here because I'm going to film at the racetrack later, but... There's Fancy! I miss them. When I'm not here, I miss them. All the others are... I'll turn this around. They're all out there. There's Matt. I can't really get out there. It's too muddy. I had a heck of a time getting over here. That was an interesting noise. But, um... They're all there. It's good to see them again. 
she's gonna wake up now. Yeah, so I just came back from the barn and <clears throat> I was able to see all the horses, but I wasn't able to say hi to the guy because I think he was still asleep. I tried knocking on the door twice and he didn't answer and I wasn't gonna, gonna knock any louder than that to wake him up. So maybe try and um, say hi on the way down to the racetrack. Um, before we leave, just like at 10 o'clock, just try to go down there and knock again just to say hi because this is the only time this entire week I'm going to be able to see him because, you know, you guys know until today I couldn't even get down to the horses. And um, I'm leaving. Like, I have to be at the airport at 5.30 tomorrow. So, and by the time we get back from the racetrack tonight, it's going to be dark. And I know he works on Saturday, so he'll be at work. So this is like the only time that works. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully... <clears throat> <clears throat> if I try that then, um, he'll be awake and I can say hi. But, anyway, so now basically just gonna wait to go down to the racetrack. I, uh, <clears throat> I just tried to eat something for the first time. I just ate a little piece of cheese and it felt weird. Really weird. I think I've already go gotten used to the whole drinking thing. I can do that now. Now we gotta get used to the whole eating thing, so. Yeah, those are the ibuprofen I've been taking. Um, so... Anyway, yeah, but it'll, I'll get used to it. I, I mean, the first couple of, um, I guess I'm not going to film a huge lot of the races, by the way, because this is already super long. But anyway, the first uh, couple of weeks after I lost the teeth, you should have seen me trying to eat. Well, you couldn't see me trying to eat because I was vlogging. It was like, what am I doing? And that's kind of how I feel right now as well. But because um, like, like. I've had, I had two natural bottom teeth last, and then, like, seven on the top, because I had nine. But, so I'm only used to having two teeth touching when I eat, so then when I'm doing it, it's like, wait, touching here, and touching here, and it's, it's really weird. <laughs> but, anyway, um, so, yeah, the learning curve will, will continue, but I'll get used to it eventually and be eating like a pro again. So, I can't wait till I can eat a steak again. So, anyway... I'll see you guys when we get to the racetrack now because this vlog is getting really long and it's only 9.30 in the morning. So I'll see you guys in a little while. Uh, so we finally made it to Oakland. It is crazy crowded here today. I didn't expect this many people, but it is opening weekend. I'm going to teach Pam. So um, we missed the first race, but we're waiting for the second race. How it starts, how long it is. Um, like the next one's short and six furlongs. And they're, they're odd. So like this one, they go from five years to nine years. The horses are on the track. Oh, okay. Yeah, these aren't our horses yet. Oh, I see. That's number one. So the number two, that's yours right there. Mine? The ten points over there? No, yours no, will be last because it's nine. Honey. That's mine. Number two is mine. Right yours there. Is number nine. Yours is right there. That's mine. Mine's green. It's got a peppy step. Oh, he's got some peppy step. Number three. Which one? My, four is mad. Which one? Mine was five, right? Yeah, there's oh, mine right yeah. there. Yes. There's just the gray one. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't see Where's a number hers? nine. Oh, all the way down there. <laughs> Is that hers acting up right there? Yes. Oh, look at yours. Yours is all frisky. Look. Going sideways. Look down there. Right here. This is your horse right here. You know, no, no, she's turquoise. No, she, the Number saddle nine. cloth is turquoise. Oh, okay. Yeah, that purple guy whose horse doesn't want to go down the track is yours. Mine's a pretty gray one. I like mine. Yours has that turquoise saddle. Mm -hmm. You don't put it. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be on the outside of the track. If they yeah, they're going in. Greater Cairo. That's what Elizabeth Abigail would have voted on because it had the word Cairo. Here's mine. That's the favorite is town champ. Two more now guys fade away and good sugar. He said he's a favorite. Okay, people hold this down there. 
seen that live before. So we're going into the fifth race and my horse actually raced in the Breeders' Cup even though I didn't recognize the horse. It was fourth in a turf race. Yeah, Pam so this Thomas is his first time on a day here in Hot Springs. Yeah, I did. This is her first time on dirt and they're going to start like right in front of us. So I'm going to film this one for you guys. We're going to win money. It's to pay for parking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we already paid for parking. Don't worry. But uh, number three, number one, and number seven. Night offs. Night offs. Yes. Up oh, here they come. Oh, they get a horn for this. Come. There's come, Pam. Number one. Number one is right there. There's number one. He's frisky Pam. Right here. All right. Number three. There's mine. Oh, three is beautiful too. Got the white face. Number one is not in control. Hey, just don't get scratched again. And was it one, three, and seven? One, three, and seven. Yeah. All right. There's number four. You can see him turning around here. So there's number one. Ladies and gentlemen, Oakland Casino Racing Casino Resort proudly presents now the first division of the 31st running of the fifth season. For four year olds and upward in one mile with a guaranteed purse of $100,000. Here you got that. I love three. He's saying you're the first division of the 31st running of the fifth season. Alright, so this is a special race, you guys. <laughs> I know, mine wants to run. Your horse is being pretty lazy. Alright, I'll show you guys when the race goes off. The horses have reached the starting gate. It's post time for the 31st running of the fifth season. Four year olds and upwards, $100,000. Okay, I am vlogging. First into the gate, Sky Promise. Number two, Sky Promise. You were thinking the same thing. <laughs> yes, the sweet comes forward. Here comes the eight to five favorite, Snapper Sinclair. All right, come on, number three. Do they put them in by their numbers or yes. whoever horse is ready first? No, they. Oh, okay. Yep, everybody migrated down here. Remembering Rita. Two more now, Chris and Dave, and Night Ox. All right, here they go. All right, here we go, Pam. Go, Pam, go. They're at the One, three, and seven. All right. Oh, Sky oh, 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 Got a bad break. Oh. Come on. We can't get it because number one. Hey, it's not over yet. Yeah, go to the police. Stafford Sinclair, come on. 
Come on! It's two and a half lengths to guest Sweden, Chris and Dave. They're third and fourth, and I'm all the front runner. Come on, yeah, one is just not happening. Twenty lengths back. <laughs> Remembering Rita has the lead. He dictates to Snefferson. Come on! To head back in second. Here's the move from the back of the pack for Night Off. Come on! Number three's in first. Come on! Come on! Come on! Number three was in first. Come on! Come on, Night Off. Come on, Number three was in first. Come on! Is that three? Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Oh, I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog here. Um, we are leaving the racetrack, and I can't pick them. I think I came in last, like, almost every race, so there's that. Um, but when we get home, I am going to immediately hop on my treatment to get that out of the way and then eat dinner and pack up and get ready to leave for the airport at 4.30 tomorrow. It's going to be a really early morning. But I did notice that, one, evening is not my strong suit right now. Two, um, this upper one that was bothering me finally stopped, so it feels almost normal. The, the bottom is a little bit sore, but that's just from screaming for the horses. So, um... <clears throat> It's all good. Hopefully it'll stay that way for uh, for flying tomorrow. And uh, it was a really fun day. So thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today. And I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. Good night.